tukiachana na ya elimu mbunge wa Gatundu Kusini Moses Kuria ametakiwa kufika mbele ya kamati ya nidhamu ya tume ya uchaguzi huko nchini kuhusiana na madai ya wizi wa kura aliyotoa wakati wa mkutano wa wajumbe wa chama cha UDA mapema mwezi huu. Hii ni baada ya juhudi zake za kutaka tume hiyo izuiwe kuendelea na kesi dhidi yake kugonga mwamba to take instructions and come for hearing on the 7th of April at 10 in the morning. Those are our orders. Ni uamuzi huu mwenyekiti wa tume ya uchaguzi wa Fula Chebukati ambao umetoa fursa ya kuendelea kwa kikao cha kamati ya nidhamu ya tume ya IBC kusikiliza rufaa dhidi yake. Section 110 of the Elections Act requires every political party and every person who participates in an election under the constitution to observe the electoral code of conduct. The electoral code of conduct found in the second schedule of the Elections Act binds all candidates, all political parties, leaders, office bearers, agents, members of political parties and any person who support a political party. It also binds the government. Awali kuria kupitia wakili wake Ndego Wahome alipinga madai hayo akisema kamati hiyo haina mamlaka ya kusikiza rufaa hiyo. Akiwasilisha ombi la kupewa muda wa siku 137 kudurusu stakabadhi za rufaa hiyo kutoka kwa tume ya IBC, kuria alisema ilani ya kumtaka kufika mbele ya kamati hiyo ilitolewa kupitia meneja wa hazina ya ustawi wa eneo la bunge lake. The, the MP has no say and has no control over the CDF manager therefore he cannot be the agent of the mp in any event if he received the documents on the guys that he was an agent of the mp we would want him to come here and be cross examined on when he received those documents and where he took them to ikiwa tapatikana na hatia kuria huenda akapewa onyo kutozwa faini au kuzuiwa kuania wadhifa kwenye uchaguzi mkuu wa mwezi agosti na chaguzi zijazo Nikiripoti ya Darubini mimi